Hey IAs and welcome to the IA Path Auto IA Show where we walk you through how to become a successful independent adjuster by starting, diversifying, and increasing your earnings with auto claims. If you're ready, we can get started right now. So cool. Today on the episode, I want to walk you through exactly what adjuster license you need to get. How can we do that when I don't know your particular situation? Because there are some general guidelines that we can follow that'll help you make an educated decision on what adjuster license you should start with. Most new IAs are confused about licensing and we aim to clear that all up in today's episode. For all the best tips, tricks, and tools, head on over to Adjuster TV's YouTube channel and click the subscribe button. Don't forget to also hit the bell notification so you'll get notified every time we have a new video. Okay, the first thing we got to determine to figure out what adjuster license you need to get is if your state requires an adjuster license to handle claims. Now, if you're not looking to handle catastrophic claims in your state, doesn't require a license, you don't need a license to handle claims. But for most of you, you're looking to travel the country to handle catastrophic claims. And so we need to find out, does your state require it? Here's a list and map of the states that don't require an adjuster license. If you live in one of these states, then you're going to need to look at the designated adjuster licensing states. The ones that I recommend is Florida and Indiana. If you don't live in one of these states, then your state requires an adjuster license. And the first license that you need to get is your state adjuster license. So let's pretend now for a minute that you live in a non-licensing state. You need to get a pre-licensing course for Florida or Indiana. Adjuster Pro lets you do this all online and they're great friends of Adjuster TV and IAPAC. To get your adjuster license, no matter what state you live in, you're likely gonna have to take some exam training. If you're doing a pre-licensing course, everything is gonna be online. You're gonna be able to do your test online and your studying online. If you live in a state that only has exam prep, then you're gonna be able to take the study material, get ready for your test, and head to a testing facility to pass the exam. Now, if you go through Adjuster Pro, they walk you through all of that to make it easy to do. So don't get stressed out about that. But the big thing is figuring out if you're in a licensing state or not. Once you've passed your test, almost every state has the same requirements. You need to have passed your test, turn that into them. You need to do a background check, fingerprints, application to the state, and payment to the state so then you can get your adjuster license. Once you do that, you're just gonna be sitting around waiting for that state to issue you your license. Whether you get your home state license or a designated home state license, that first license is key. Don't go getting one that you shouldn't get. If you live in Alabama, you need to get an Alabama license. Don't go get Texas or Florida because if you get the wrong license, you can end up with tr in trouble with the insurance commissioners later on. You can end up in having reciprocity problems where other states won't recognize your training if you did it out of order. So this first license is key. Now let's talk about reciprocity. This is something that's a little confusing for new adjusters in the beginning. And really all it is, is if you have a license in a state and you passed a test, you're gonna go to a different state and say, hey, look, Florida's already approved my adjuster license. I've already taken their test. And Alabama will say, come on in, just pay us a little bit of money and we'll give you an adjuster license. Because if Florida says you're okay, hey, you're okay, you don't have to take our test. That's reciprocity. If you take into account the states that you can get with reciprocity, plus the states that don't license, you have a huge area of coverage that you can cover claims with just taking one single test for your home state or designated home state license. And that's the easiest way to get started. Okay, now that we've got reciprocity and your original license kind of out of the way and covered those things, I wanna give you some tips on licenses that you may want to consider getting, even if it's only your second license. I would highly recommend you go get New York. Why? 
New York is valuable to IA firms. Not enough insurance adjusters are licensed in New York. So we call it the golden ticket license in this industry because if you have it, it's very likely you're going to get an opportunity to work for an IA firm. IA firms will raise you up on their list of valuable IAs to deploy simply because you have a license in New York. Even if the storm that just occurred isn't in New York, they want to retain your services. So if needed, they can use you. Two other really valuable licenses to grab is the Pennsylvania Motor Vehicle Damage Appraisers License. Once again, this is one that not enough IAs have, and it can be difficult to get because you actually got to know what you're doing. You got to pass another test, and this one involves auto damage. If you don't know auto damage, then you're likely going to struggle with the Motor Vehicle Damage Appraiser Licensing Exam. Adjuster Pro helps you for New York and Pennsylvania and also the third license that I recommend which is New Mexico. Now New Mexico is reciprocal with most states so you don't necessarily have to take another exam but they have a bond that you must retain and you can find out information on that through Adjuster Pro and their website but those three if you get the New York, Pennsylvania and New Mexico you have the licensing trifecta and you are now in the top one percent of all adjusters simply because you have those three licenses along with your home state license now if you're coming up on hail season and you're going chris i can't wait for new york pennsylvania or new mexico to come in i need to get work what reciprocal licenses should i focus on getting for hail season then i would consider states in the midwest states like oklahoma Texas, Minnesota, Indiana, Kentucky, a lot of the Midwest, Colorado, Kansas, Nebraska, those states do not require licenses, so you're fine there. But getting Oklahoma and Texas, Kentucky, Indiana, Minnesota will give you a great opportunity in a large area that you can cover hail claims in. If you're coming up on hurricane season and you're saying, Chris, I want to be ready for the flooded stuff. I want to be ready to handle auto claims when the East Coast is hit with a storm. And guess what you need to do? You need to focus on getting licenses on the East Coast. I would focus on Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, and then go down the Gulf Coast. Get Texas, Alabama, Mississippi. Make sure you're able to handle claims in the states that are going to get hit with hurricanes if you're coming up on hurricane season. Be strategic. Your money and time is not unlimited, but hopefully with these tips, you'll be ready for whatever comes your way. If you're interested in becoming an independent auto damage appraiser or auto adjuster as a part of a diversified IA career, head on over to IAPath.com and click the how to find work button. We have a free video course that walks you through every single step you need to do to get started in an auto career and to set up your auto IA business. Thank you very much for watching the Auto IA Show on Adjuster TV. And Matt, this one's for you. Until next week, keep walking your path and claiming your life.